For the first time ever, researchers found clear biomarkers associated with the human Alzheimer's disease in wild animals, specifically in dolphins. I'm KP, a marine biologist with over a decade's worth of experience working with marine mammals. A thousand questions raced through my mind when I first saw this study. Have these biomarkers been detected in dolphins living in zoos and aquariums? What about other animals? Cats? Dogs? Can this study help us learn about what causes Alzheimer's and maybe even find a cure? We're going to answer these questions and more, but first, what is Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's is a progressive brain disease that leads to changes in cognitive function and memory loss. According to the Alzheimer's Association, it is the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S. and the most common cause of dementia. The cause of Alzheimer's disease is mostly associated with two abnormal protein structures called plaques and tangles. Plaques are deposits of protein fragments that build up between nerve cells. Tangles, however, are twisted protein fibers that build up inside the cells. Together, plaques and tangles block communication between nerve cells and disrupt the cognitive process. And it's these abnormal protein structures that researchers recently found in wild dolphins. The study was conducted by a team of scientists from Oxford University, the University of Florida, and the University of St. Andrews in Edinburgh, Scotland. They were looking into something called the sixth leader hypothesis. People have been wondering for a long time why dolphins strand and sometimes in mass numbers. And these researchers were wondering if Alzheimer's could be the potential cause. Basically, the thinking goes that if a dolphin suffers from Alzheimer's, the disease might impair their spatial awareness, causing it to accidentally lead its pod into shallow waters where they could strand. So these researchers conducted necropsies on a variety of dolphin species who had died after becoming stranded. And they found a few dolphins had the same plaques and tangles in their brain as human patients with Alzheimer's disease. They also found neuronal loss, strengthening the idea that dolphins and humans could have the same Alzheimer's pathology. While this is the first time that these biomarkers have been found in a wild animal, amyloid plaques have been found in a wide range of domesticated animals like dogs, cats, and even horses. Likely because domestic animals live longer than their wild counterparts on average. For example, the life expectancy of domestic cat is 13 to 14 years, but only two to five years for feral cats. Essentially, wild animals don't typically live long enough to develop Alzheimer's, which leads me to dolphins in zoos and aquariums. According to the most recent study, the life expectancy of bottlenose dolphins in zoological facilities is 29.2 years and is 17.4 years for wild dolphins. I've posted a link to this study right up here. So if dolphins in zoological facilities tend to live longer than their wild counterparts, have they shown the biological signs of Alzheimer's? Turns out I actually have friends studying this exact thing. Their findings haven't been published, so they aren't able to talk to me on the record yet, but it sounds like they found the amyloid plaques associated with Alzheimer's in dolphins under human care, but they did not observe any clinical signs or abnormalities. That's extremely important because in order to diagnose Alzheimer's in humans, doctors need more than the plaques and the tangles in the brain. They also need those clinical signs associated with behavioral changes. Things like memory loss or difficulty carrying on a conversation. In fact, a biologist who specializes in the memory and social behavior of dolphins has even stated that the next step is to see if this neurological phenomenon relates to observable cognitive deficits. But that may be difficult to study in the wild. This biologist also published studies that show captive bottlenose dolphins exhibit no signs of memory decline as they get older and even have better long-term memories than elephants. Personally, I can't wait until my friends publish this study on Alzheimer's and zoological dolphins because I have so many questions. They found the amyloid plaques, but what about the tangles? 
Because that's another really important thing about the study of Alzheimer's in wild cetaceans. The discovery of both amyloid plaques and the neurofibrigial tangles. While amyloid plaques have been documented in domestic animals, but the presence of plaques and tangles is apparently extremely rare. It strengthens the idea that human and dolphin brains are incredibly similar and might even have the same Alzheimer's pathology, which has led researchers at Oxford and St. Andrews to look at other similarities between humans and dolphins, like diabetes, for example. Cetaceans are uniquely prone to a pre-diabetes state and are one of the few animals other than humans with a naturally long post-fertility lifespan. It's these links that have led researchers to develop a hypothesis that insulin resistance might be the root cause of Alzheimer's. And if we know the cause, well, that's one step to finding a cure. That's what I love about science, not just marine biology, but all science. It's impossible to overstate the burden of Alzheimer's on both those diagnosed and the families. And these studies will have a real impact on countless lives. What do you think? Are you as excited as I am? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you next time. Cheers. So these researchers conducted necro necropsies, necropsies, necropsies. So these researchers conducted, excuse you. A necropsies. Necropsies, <laughs> necropsy doodle. The discovery of both amyloid plaques and the neurofibrigial tangles. Wow. <laughs> you first try. Nailed it. Yeah, you, the, the shock that passed on your face too was like really telling. It strengthens. It strengthens. Could get neurofibrigial, but can't pronounce strengthens. It strengthens. Strengthens. It strengthens the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do this paragraph in German. Sure. Okay. <laughs>